everyone. Welcome to our new episode of The Three Whisketeers, the show that likes to share our whiskey and have a lot of fun. Now, I'm Jamie. I'm your host. This is our angel here at Hipster Curtis. This son burns behind the camera, and we have our happy hunter and Eddie. Now, Curtis, today we have some posters. We have a beautiful uh, box. Looks like a very cover. special show. Looks like something to announce and something, something to do. Something to announce. Something for our, our fan base to get out and support and have a good time. Oh, okay. 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 Sharing whiskey well, and having fun. And what we're going to do today I'm is wait. definitely I'm a light not wait. for lightweight. Yeah. Not for the lightweight. <laughs> not for the lightweight. <laughs> this is this is going to be a very, <laughs> very, very serious smoky peaty whiskey. Mm, this is my serious face right now. Uh, I kind of peaked, so I know what we're looking for. Um, I've had other brands of, the, of, of, I mean, other bottles of theirs um, at whiskey tastings. Right. And I've enjoyed it. Okay. Here we this go, one is kind of special. Bam! Bam. Ooh. Now, a couple years ago, I was fortunate enough to be able to try each one of these hard bags and the one their special edition that was out at that time. Okay, so okay. this one is our bag. Ooh. Yeah, fun you would you giga Dale? <laughs> oh good job. <laughs> <laughs> it's the ultimate Issel single malt Scotch whiskey, none chilled filter. Ugendal. Ugendal. Ooh, Ugendal. Let me say this again. Our bag Ugendal Okay, Curtis, so we have uh, some announcements. We have a thing going on. Why, like The reason that you purchased this bottle is because well, it's a really great bottle. It's a great bottle. It's a great bottle. And I thought maybe you guys had matured enough that maybe we could we could hit this <laughs> bottle. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. 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 Okay, so... Um, so we have a tour here? A tour. Our big is touring the United States in a bus. Oh, boy. And you come down to Ben's on June 21st from 4 to 7, and they have a virtual tour within the bus of the distillery. They're going to be a tasting. That's that's what I'm going to be there for. Okay, me okay. too. I'm going to be there and, for the ladies, too. And, and they have what's called an escape room. And apparently it's like one of those rooms where you go to and you have to answer questions and figure out puzzles in order to get out. So come down, see us, and see what Ben's has and uh, what Art Big has yeah. to offer. Yeah. Sounds awesome. Okay, so now while we open this and pour it, Art Big, what's the name mean, right? Eddie, what does it mean? Right? I don't know. I have no idea. Okay. means small promontory. Okay. Okay. Well, I only know half the words. Yeah. Ugendal. <laughs> Uh -huh. Ugandal refers to the lock and the spring that feeds the lock that is the water that is used to make it. Okay. Okay. So, okay. So that's that's where the name name comes from. And Arbig is, is is famous for using names from their area and region. One for burn. Okay now folks. This one is of the Arbigs and not the special editions, but just their general stuff they can get. This is the most expensive one, okay? The, just the general bottle. Oh, this is just a general single malt. Oh, no, this is a blend. Is it a blend? It, well, I mean, they're, they're using... It's a single malt scotch. Yeah, but but it's a blends of single malts. Oh, okay. okay. The base is 10... Here we go base, again. Their base is 10 years, mm -hmm. okay? Then they add older... older whiskey to it. Okay. And they finish it in sherry casts. Oh my oh, gosh! Okay. These guys are taking this stuff way too serious. Yeah, well, I mean, this, like I said, this is a serious, wonderful whiskey. So, now, Jim yeah, Murray said so that this is his. I, I think he said his top pick for the best Scotch whiskey in the world. Who author, is this? author of the Whiskey Bible. Author of the Whiskey author, Bible. Okay. And I'm not author. sure if that was 2015, 2016. I didn't look it up, but you know. Okay, so, so he knows what's up. Yeah, he does. Oh my gosh, this is really good. Yeah, it's it's exceptionally good, actually. Wow, I mean, the peat, it's there, and I'm not like the biggest fan, and it explodes really good, but there is that fruitiness, what? the very sweet, it's almost like, it's not like bourbon, but it's like sweet like bourbon, Did you, you know? taste it? Yeah, I right. tasted it. It hits you in different ways. Yeah, yeah. it's like, whoa, that's... Comes at you in That's ways. really complex, and it dissipates pretty fast. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So, their 10-year... Is spectacular. Okay, just like Lagavulin's 10 years. Mm. Then they jump up. 
then we get into this one. And this one, like I said, is my favorite. Now they came out with the one last year, Groovy mm -hmm. and yeah, Grooves, Grooves or Groovy. Yeah. And uh, I didn't get a chance to try that, but uh, a good friend of ours, William, he tried it. He told me, "Wow, amazing." Yeah. But he's he's an art big, big freak. I mean, yeah. he loves this stuff, and how can you blame him, right? Yeah. Okay. This makes my like my lips pucker and everything. Now uh, here's here's an interesting thing. They just released one called Drum, mm -hmm. and it is supposed to be finished in. Um, Caribbean rum barrels. Oh, so I bet that it's even going to be a little bit sweeter and a little bit more delicate. Mm -hmm. So, um, really looking forward to one of you guys buying that and bringing it over. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's going to be really inexpensive. Yeah. Let's switch gears a little bit. We talked about the whiskey and how wonderful the taste is, and we're going to go support uh, our Greg there at the Ben's Beverage Depot. But you have another poster here. Would you care to explain what's going on with that? Yes. Anna, hmm. down at Ben's, mm -hmm. she, uh, she's one of the people down there that is always incredibly knowledgeable, very helpful, and she's also a very ta a talented artist. I did not know that. Yes, yes. So Anna is going to be playing at the Paramount Opus Concert Cafe mm -hmm. on June 14th and 15th, 8 p.m., so we all need to go out and support her because she does such a great job of supporting us. Yep. Mm -hmm. Call up, uh, call them up, go to the website, get yourself some tickets, and go down and be entertained. Now, around here, we all know that, you know, the Paramount doesn't book anything except Paul the Axe. I mean, yeah. you don't get garbage down at the Paramount. No. So you know that this is going to be a wonderful show. Yeah. And if you haven't been to the Paramount for a while, it's a beautiful theater. Oh, it's a beautiful it theater. Yeah, it's yeah. like gold and everything, and, and the sound is very nice. And, you know, we like to support local business like Ben's and local artists like Anna. I mean, that, that's, that's what right. we're about. And, and, and there's only a hundred seats at, the, at this particular performance. Oh, mercy. Yes, yeah, so if, you, if you're gonna go, not if you wanna go, you're gonna go, get those tickets right away because two performances, 200 tickets, once they're sold, there isn't any place for anybody else to sit. Oh my gosh, I'll sit so on the floor. So let's support Anna and let's get down to Ben's. Mm. I'm sorry, let's get down to the Paramount. <laughs> Well, let's get down to Ben's and then go to the Paramount. Yeah, yeah, I mean, all these people here, they support us, so let's go support them. If you're a fan of the show, you should be a fan of these guys. They really, um, they come out when they we, they don't have to. Yeah, they, they help us out all the time, mm -hmm. and they really don't have to. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. super nice. And um, something else we do want you to do, though, is hit that subscribe button. Oh, Eddie, where's that show? Right here, right here. Right Just there? press okay. it, press it. Ding. Ding. That's our ding. That's our call to action to... All for one? One, one for all. all.